Hello everyone, this is Adam from realhomerecording.com. In this video, I want to talk about why the Foo Fighters' new album that's coming out in about a month will sound worse than the television show by the same name. Now, I've been on this Loudness Wars kick for a couple years now on this YouTube channel. And for those of you who don't know me, because of course I'll always get the comment that, oh, this is just some, some dude ranting on YouTube. Okay, I have been an audio engineer for about 14 or 15 years at this point. So I started when I was a young kid and I have made some pretty good sounding albums and singles in a very humble basement studio. Well, I know what the hell I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff. If you don't believe me, there's plenty of other videos. Just type in Loudness War or Loudness Wars or Hyper Compression into the YouTube search box and you can hear from other people to understand more about what this is like. I'll also link to a video about the Loudness Wars that I made. But what I want to say in this video is look at these waveforms. Okay, the green, the dark green represents the audio waveform, so anytime there's audio going, that represents that. At the top, we can see that there's a lot of, uh, more, there's more space for each of this, uh, for each of these waveforms to, uh, to move in. On the bottom here, we have, over here, really, it looks almost like a solid rectangle of audio signal. Now, if you're familiar with the loudness wars, you know that this is called hypercompression. Up here, we have a lot more dynamics in our audio. This is the same song. I lined it up as close as I could. But here's the difference. The top track, if you've looked at the file name right here, it is a rip from the TV show. Basically, what I did is I, um, I took the headphone output on my home theater system and ran it into the line input of my computer, just a basic sound card. And then what I did is I took the largest peak, which was this right here, which was a kick, a kick drum, that only goes to a maximum of negative 0.1 decibels full scale. This track was a rip off of the YouTube video that the Foo Fighters uploaded. Direct rip. Now, look, this might not be representative of the final CD album. Typically, it will be, though, um, if the Foo Fighters' history is any experience or, uh, or is any note about what it'll be. But I wanted to show you guys why, if you're listening to the HBO show called Sonic Highways... It sounds really damn good. This is right at the end of the show before the credits that they play this, which was pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting them to have the full song at the end of the show because, you know, the album, you know, it might hurt sales, blah, blah, blah. Well, look at the waveform. That's beautiful. That is what music should look like. That's what the Foo Fighters and Steve Albini have heard in the studio prior to it being sent to the mastering houses, where for whatever reason, the mastering engineer, because maybe he, he or she was told to make it louder, either way, look at this. This is an abomination. This is awesome. This is what music should sound like. More than likely, this is what the vinyl version sounds like, except it's not digital. Actually, I would say the digital version, which is right here, would sound better. Now, unfortunately, due to copyright reasons, I cannot play these files for you and monetize this video. So, if you want, again, this is from the, uh, this is basically a down mix because the headphone output is two channels. But yeah, you can, you can do this all yourself. Um, I can't really give you instructions on how to do it. You're going to have to figure out how to do that yourself. But rip the audio from the Foo Fighters um, video to get this and then uh, record into your sound card, sound interface, whatever, two channels, and then gain it up until the maximum peak is at negative 0.1, and you'll get the same exact results. Look at all those dynamics. That is that is a thing of beauty, and um, the reason why this is is because TV, you have to mix to the ATSC standard 
for compliance with uh, actually there's federal laws now, but um, they used to do it anyway, just because that's you know that, that's what TV spec is. TV spec does not allow for this type of nonsense to go over the air, and this is definitely coming straight from something that's not this because if if you were to take this file and shrink it down so it's at TV level this would still be flat looking and this part of the song as you can see is not flat it's not flat at the top and um yeah i mean even if i did this to this track i'm holding shift and pressing up on the keyboard to make more of the peaks you know, see, see what, see, see now, now that I maximize it, it looks more like it did underneath there. Actually, that's more, that's closer to what it looks like. So look at that level difference. Now, of course, it, the, the bottom track will get louder, so it's a little bit harder to compare. But look how much I had to push this up. I mean, you're chopping all those peaks off, and those peaks are what make music sound good. It's what makes music have impact. And it's just been taken away from what I'm going to assume is the CD version of this song. And there's no reason the CD version has to, has to look like this or sound like this. It's a fucking shame. And there's no other way to put it than that. It's a fucking shame what they do to music. I hope somebody from the Foo Fighters camp sees this video and maybe, um, maybe considers releasing this version. So what I'm going to recommend to everybody... Don't buy Sonic Highways, the CD version. If the Pono or the HD Tracks version, if they release it on those websites, looks more like this. Or if you want to wait until the TV show is available on Blu-ray and then rip that off of there, that would be the best option. So yeah, this is over-the-air <laughs> audio looking better than something that's direct from the source. It's ridiculous. It shouldn't happen, but they allow it to happen, and um, that's all I can say about it. it. It's like I said, it's a fucking shame. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.